I am Dr. Venkatesh, I am a consultant neonatologist. Today I am discussing about the utility of excess ultrasound in the determination of the needle length that, that should be traversed into the cerebrospinal fluid space. That is, I am going to show that space on ultrasound. And here we are. Here we have a baby uh, who is born at uh, 32 weeks of gestation. Uh, after two weeks, the baby uh, became septic. The CRP um, is 192. And in New York, CRP is being very high. And late onset apneic uh, uh, episodes. So we thought of uh, whether this baby is having uh, infection in the brain. To rule out meningitis, we are doing cerebrospinal fluid analysis. My colleague actually she is ready to perform the lumbar puncture for this new unit and you see the, the, uh, the uh, equipment is also ready for the CSF tab. So uh, what we should do uh, in the beginning, make sure that all the things are taken in um, you know, an aseptic uh, way and um, I'll show how to count actually where to place the probe which spine, uh, which vertebra we need to uh, fix to perform this uh, lumbar puncture. Now I'll uh, request uh, one of my colleagues to hold the baby to demonstrate the lumbar vertebra. Pass the then. The pass ends at the level of L4 in your next. And that is the spine on the whatever vertebra we choose. How do we know that uh, that uh, vertebra is chosen? Uh, always um, I'll go with uh, 12 rib and 12 rib actually corresponds to the thoracic vertebra. T12. I'll count it down T12, L1, L2, L3, L4. So L4 is the one I've chosen, and this is the probe we use. This is C5, C8 frequency curvilinear probe and I will keep the probe transversely with the marker facing to the right and you can appreciate now, see this is the spine, you can come in the center and beautifully you can see here, this is the space, you can see the cerebrospinal fluid and this is actually the spinal cord surrounded by the cerebral spinal fluid. There is also a central point hyperechogenic area that is central echogenic complex that is nothing but central canal. This actually helps in knowing the distance of the needle that should be traversed from the point of insertion. See, from here till this point, I'll show you again. See, this is the point I've chosen and then I come to this point. So around around 5 cm depth if it travels you can get the cerebrospinal fluid thank you so much i put that one now you see that she has gone around 0.5 cm depth into the space and getting the fluid you can see the fluid Okay, so ultrasound helps actually in determining the, the length that should be traversed to tap the cerebrospinal fluid. Especially it is very important for the beginners who start learning the lumbar puncture and without any trauma. Thank you.